Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's painting. It's going to be, you guessed it, a car painting. Well, it's actually a pickup, but, and it's not a Hot Wheels. Um, I find these cars, they've got some really cool cars. Um, so I've done a number of these and uh, I really like these cars. This one is a 1956 Ford F100. Look at that. Oh yeah. I love that bright red and those yellow flames. I love the flames on a car. Yeah, oh yeah. I've always wanted a car with flames on it. And uh, when I was a kid, uh, and it is in my video on the on my channel, down a few videos or so. Um, you 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 know you don't have to watch the whole thing. I, it ended up being an hour and a half of me talking about my art journey. But when I was a kid. Um, I would paint, I would draw cars, 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 and they all had flames on them. I just loved putting the flames on them. So I'd always love to have a car, an old muscle car with flames on it. It would be great. The, the, probably the best would be a 57 Chevy or a 57 Chevy Nomad with some killer flames on it. So I, that's why I love these ones with the flames. But I also like the cars that have a lot of color on them, especially on the top part because when you hang these paintings up, you're actually looking at the top of the car on uh, when it's not hanging on the wall because I just set them on the wheels. So then when you're, when it's up on the wall, it's act, you're actually seeing the top of the car. So that's why I like it to have some type of design or something on the top. Not all of them do. And I haven't really had really great luck with setting the cars on their side. I, I kind of just don't like that look anyway. I like, I like them flat on their wheels. So, but anyway, so what I want to do with this one is I think I'm going to go with a white background. I possibly might go black. I'll probably take this car out and kind of set it on a white and black canvas to see which one sticks out the, the most. Probably will be the white is my guess. Um, so I'm going to do a white background and I'm gonna do flames out the back. And I think I'm really gonna kick the flames up since this guy has a lot of flames on it. I'm gonna put a ton of flames in it. And uh, <clears throat> so it's gonna be a lot of yellow, a little bit of orange and a little bit of red in there. And so <clears throat> all I gotta do now is mix the paints and get this one started. And we'll, we'll see how it turns out. All right, I got my paints mixed. And now I'm just leveling out the canvas. Make sure that it's, uh, we won't lose the, lose it once it's dry, while it's drying. And, uh, I decided to go with the white background. I think that red will stick out a lot better on white than will that, that black. So, even though the black, the flames on black look pretty good. They look pretty good on white too. <clears throat> so, and it's my painting, so I get to do what I want. If that's a little harsh for you guys out there, then I'm really sorry. Not really, but have I all told you that I do have a dry sense of humor? A lot of people have told me that. I'm sort of joking, so. And I kind of, because a lot of, almost every show I go to, somebody tells me what I should be painting or what I should do. Um, I took a painting into work to sell to, to a guy that I work with. He was buying it, so I took it in. And uh, so I had it in the office there, sitting on my desk, and a couple people came in and saw it, and there's one guy that... He had not seen any of my paintings before. He has a cubicle. It's actually right behind my desk. And uh, so I was showing him and a couple other guys in there. And they thought they were pretty, they thought it was pretty cool. It was actually that silver and black, the silver black background with the black on the 70 Roadrunner, 1970s Roadrunner, which is the one I just sold. 
And, uh, of course, he proceeds to tell me that what I need, this is what you need to paint for cars. And I said, yeah, I've thought of that because he was talking about NASCAR. And I said, I've thought about that, but I've noticed a lot of people want to come up to my booth when I have a show and they want to know if I have this specific car or that specific car. I'm like, nope, this is what I have. And so I thought about, I had thought about doing NASCAR. I actually have some very little, smaller, even smaller than Hot Wheels cars that are NASCAR cars. I do not follow NASCAR myself. I don't know who is a good driver. I don't know the names of very many of the drivers, just mostly just what I see a little bit on TV commercials and stuff them endorsing things or whatnot. So I really don't know anything about NASCAR. To me, it's very boring. So sorry for you NASCAR fans out there. I'm not saying you shouldn't be NASCAR fans. I'm just saying that me personally, I find it very boring. Uh, and yeah, I know it's because I don't understand it and I don't know the ins and outs and the nuances of it. Uh, I don't want to know. I have a, we have some people in our family that are NASCAR fans and my brother-in-law is one, a huge one, my nephew and, uh, and some more. And I just don't, this is not my thing. Now I have seen I did, I did enjoy going to some races. I've never been to a NASCAR, or, or even though I live probably 40 minutes from the Indian, Indianapolis 500 track, and I've been to the track before. I've not actually been to an Indy 500 race. <clears throat> um, they are, the, the few races were in like small towns on little dirt tracks with the, I don't know what kind of cars they were, but just, um, <clears throat> They are exciting um, when you're there in person. So it, my mind might change if I was in went to one in person. I almost I almost went to the first very first running of the Brickyard 400 at the Indianapolis Speedway, and uh, yeah, I don't want to get into that story, but it didn't work out. So. But I do have some NASCARs, and I, I was afraid that people would want their favorite driver, and uh, I don't know how many drivers are out there. I know there's, what, 30 or 30-plus 30 drivers just in a race alone, and a lot, I'm, I'm sure some don't make it make the cut. So it's like, do I have, I think I'm going to go spread out. So do I have to have 30 some thirty some different drivers, cars? And then of course I understand there's probably more than one fan of that person. So do I have to have four or five or ten of them? Of them of this specific driver the more popular ones yeah that's just too much for me so I probably will do some NASCAR just to have it I somebody's told me I need to do sprint car I need to do Indy car so they're all in the works I guess
trusty straw up. All right, there would be the car right there. So I think that looks pretty good. We'll give it a good torch, and then we'll add a little bit of flame effect to it.
that. I like the way the flames turned out on this one. And uh, I think this will be a good one. We'll wait for this bad boy to uh, dry so we can get it resin. Excuse me. And uh, we can get that truck placed on there and we'll have another fine looking piece. All right, this bad boy is dried and I've got the resin mixed. I got the tape on the back to so I can pull the drips off easily tomorrow morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I'm actually going to be doing two pours paintings tonight. I'm going to try to do this one first, then then uh, switch over to the other one for the for the other video on it. So let's see if I can get half of this poured on here. real quick and I did have a craft fair today at the fairgrounds in the county that I live in so it wasn't very far it takes me about 15 minutes or so to get there um, and uh, it wasn't a real call in the vendor trade a very heavily trafficked event not a very busy one there were there were some people in there it's definitely not as much as we would prefer you know you want a lot of traffic the more traffic you have the better off you are selling something because not everybody going in there is looking for especially for us the art artwork and uh so, but I did do well. I sold um, two of the Hot Wheels ones and one of my bigger ones. So that's always good. And some 8 by 10 some coasters and some jewelry. All right. <clears throat> so we're back. So I had that show today. I can't really remember what I was talking about. I was doing the other painting. So... I did sell some stuff, um, so it was a success for me. I made some contacts, some people wanting some commission pieces. I'd actually, that day, I have a list on my phone of ideas for paintings, and there was a recruiter there for a branch of the military, I can't remember what it was, I think it was the Army, but I'm not sure. And I don't know what made me think of it when I was talking with him. Not about joining up because I they don't take an old old fart like me, but I'm too old, too out of shape. And uh, but I thought of a helicopter, and I wrote that down. Then then a guy came up and was liking my stuff. Him and his this lady were talking to me and. He actually uh, flies Black Hawk helicopters and just got back from a t his second tour and wanted me to do a, a Black Hawk helicopter one. Or, so he's going to try to find one for me and I'm going to be looking for one. And so I'll probably do one for him, which was would be a great honor for me to do that for one of our servicemen, especially somebody that drives a Black Hawk helicopter. I've never met um, someone that has actually flown those. And... Uh, so it was an honor to talk to him and it would be an honor to do a painting for him. He said he was going to put up and it would, be, it would go great in his office. And he wanted something that would show the, like when he comes in, the, the wind of the, from the blades blowing out. And I asked him if, because he was looking at the horse one and so he was thinking of that. I also said something about over water and I can't remember what he said said if he really wanted over water but he said something that he's in the, he is in the army and they don't fly over water so i can't remember if he actually wanted one on water or not but, but we'll get those details when we when he contacts me usually on a commission pieces when i talk to people 
at these shows and they say they want me to do something, I, I rarely hear back from them. And uh, I have hopes with this one because he actually uh, has already liked my Facebook page. And so that's a good sign. And uh, then I another lady wanted a 57 Chevy. Her husband has one. It's yellow. I didn't have a yellow one. I only had the one. And so she's going to try to find a yellow one. I'm going to keep a lookout on for a yellow one. And uh, so... And then another uh, lady, her daughter loves unicorns. She loved the horse painting I did, but she wants one in a unicorn. So they're going to contact me and they're going to give me get me a unicorn. So that'll be cool to do for a little girl's room. All right. I don't know if you can see this in the video, uh, but right in here, it's really like the yellow is bright and then goes to a darker. And I really don't like that. So actually I'm going to have to cover it up. I was going to put the car here. It's got this great yellow, which I wanted to put it here to really see the yellow, but I'm going to cover that up because it just doesn't look right. I don't know. It, it just dried that way. I don't, I don't know if it's because the, maybe there's some orange underneath the yellow and it just, uh, just did that. So we're going to set it right here and cover that up. So kind of makes me sad but that's what we have to work with I'd rather cover it up than have that discoloration in the paint like that that would just bother me so this one is done I think it's a killer piece I love the I love the flames on it and of course I would have liked it if the yellow would have stayed one color there but that's what we got to work with so <clears throat> it's another good piece so thanks for watching and always as always uh, please like and subscribe it'll help me to grow my channel and uh, help me to put more more of these out Hey everybody, oh my boy. Hey everybody, tonight's pour is going to be another car themed pour. Um, it's not actually Hot Wheels. It's going to be a 1956 Ford F100. And look at the baby on that, the flames on that thing. Yeah, that looks good. So, um, I've always liked the old pickups, but you know, it's... Hey everybody, welcome to tonight painting. Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour painting. Hey everybody, welcome tonight to tonight's painting. Whew. I should have a bloopers reel for the how many times I've messed up on this one. I wasn't even filming. I just talked for five minutes and wasn't even filming. Tonight's not been a good night. <laughs> it's been, I think I am going to have a bloopers reel on this one. Just maybe at the end. I'll have a bunch of bloopers. I don't know. Hey, everybody. Welcome to tonight's painting. It's going to be another car themed one. I'll pick up themed one. Um, I've got this. It's not a Hot Wheels, but I picked this one up at, uh, I'm not sure where. Um, I go to so many stores these days that it's hard telling which store I got it at. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, possibly. Yeah, that's probably. Hey, everybody. Welcome to tonight's painting. Been tongue-tied tonight. So, tonight's going to be another car-themed one. Pickup. It's going to be a pickup. 
it's not a Hot Wheels. Uh, so, but it's a, I think I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. It's a 19, 1956 Ford F100. Look at that baby. Oh yeah. I love the flames on that. It's bright red. They got the yellow flames. So what are we going to do tonight? We're going to put flames on this sucker. And so, um, I've had some really success, uh, successful fire ones. I've had some disappointing ones. So, um, I think the last one I did was on the dragon that I did and the, the flames really, I was really, um, really happy with the flames that I had on that one. So I'm going to try to mimic that, which I actually do more yet have more yellow. Uh, some of them I did, I had, um, a lot of red in it. I think I'm going to go less red, some orange and a little bit of, a lot more yellow, just a little bit of orange, probably a little bit more orange than red. And I'm trying to decide whether this would look good on a back black background or a white background. I'm kind of leaning towards the white, um, just so that red will stick out, will really s stick out on that. So, um, I'll probably take the car out of the box and set it on some, uh, some of them that I have finished that are on white and some that I finished that are on black and just see how it, how it looks on there. So I will do that. All I got to do now is get the, uh, get the paints mixed and I've already got my canvas out and we'll get this, uh, bad boy going and uh, we'll have a, I think we'll have a pretty good pour on this one. Um, it'll, I won't, I won't get it done in time to, uh, get for the show this weekend it's on saturday tonight's thursday so it won't get dry in time even if it dried by tomorrow and i even resined it tomorrow night it would still be i mean it'd be tough to want to take it with me because i couldn't stack it on anything not that i stack them but i wouldn't want to set anything on it the the resin is still a little soft hasn't cured all the way i actually did one last night and it's still wet and uh, right, of course, right in the wet part paint of uh, the white background was a dead gnat. Oh, it just made me so mad. Thinking of it now, after I dug it out with my, um, my little palette knife here, uh, of course, it's, it was still wet that it made a divot but it wasn't so wet that it just kind of leveled itself back out so then I tried to fix that added a little water and I and now it's I'm probably gonna have to just add some more white paint to it once I once it totally dries to try to smooth it out hopefully the resin will cover a lot of that up and then of course after I did all that and kind of messed up the background a little bit um, I thought I should have just waited for it to dry and then just cover it up with white paint uh, and I wouldn't have had any issues at all. And that person who bought that paint would have a dead gnat in their paint, their painting. So, um, so that's it. Um, I've got, uh, as soon as I get done with this one, I've got a, uh, a painting that I did the other day that. I use silicone in, so I'm spraying it with a gloss enamel. I got a, a pretty good coat, a couple coats, two or three of gloss enamel on. I'm just waiting for it to dry so I can uh, resin it tonight because I really, oh, my camera keeps sliding down. I really uh, wanted to do the the baby Yoda one that I have, it's on an eight by eight canvas, but it only takes two ounces of resin. I didn't want to mix just two ounces of resin to do this little one. So I wanted to do it. I wanted to get it done tonight because I don't give it time to cure enough to take, uh, Saturday. And the other one is going to be the, uh, Dragon Ball Z one. And the guy that bought the other two Dragon Ball Z ones, I showed him the painting today and he's like, with before even before I put the uh, Frieza guy on it, and he's already wanting it, so 
he's going to have three Dragon Ball Z ones from me. And so I'm in no big hurry to get it resin, but I was going to either put a second coat of resin on some of them. Some of them I kind of get pulled in from the edges and it's kind of got that uh, bubbly look on the edges. Um, usually I just go ahead and leave it like that on some of them, but some are really bad. So I like to put a second coat on there and it pretty much covers all that up. So, oh, excuse me.